These entries affect the appearance of the program. Suggestions are made in the various drop-down forms, but you can enter what you want. Activity details. This appears on the main menu and on the forms you open. Activity planning. This again applies to the main menu and underlying forms and should probably be in line with the activity details page. Exercise. This affects the exercise and lesson section of the program. You must leave therapy there as this controls the opening of the therapy forms. Report header. This applies to the actual report pages and whether it was a race, class, section, etc. Two headings for all the horse pages, which you can name yourself. There are two others on the horse page. You can be named for each horse. Winnings. You can name the source of these, such as racing, eventing, etc. Headers and footers whether to use or not to use the inbuilt headers and footers. Livery charges can either be based on a weekly or daily rate. See the help file over changing from one to the other in midstream, so to speak. Standard livery rate. This is the one that will be used when using the automatic updating of the livery charges on a new entry. Now on the address book, you can decide whether to use Mr. or Esquire on your envelopes, for example. Whether to use initials or first name. You can select people in the address book by first and last name, last and first name, or even both. Email system. If you use Outlook or similar, your email will be opened. Otherwise, the email address will be saved for you to paste into your AOL server or whatever you have. You can hide the calculated age of people from whatever age you want. Lesson entries. You can select a timed or end date period from your lesson's entry. You can select the months you want to save your lesson. This is useful for health and safety practice. The mileage rate is for transport and the normal foaling month. This is the month the age of the horse will change.